Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be uh, all about the energies between you and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. We're also going to look at where all of this is headed in the near future. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Leo watching and not every Leo reading will resonate for you. So let's jump right in for Leo, Spirits, Angels, guys. Can we get some insight, please, on how their, their person is thinking about them for Leo? This is going to be a reading for those of you that have someone in mind or someone you're connecting with for Leo. What are they thinking about when it comes to Leo or this connection spirit? What are they thinking about? I'm confused and I'm ready to commit. Okay, I want one more. What are they thinking about? I'm taking a risk. Okay. I wanted to know, you know, what this confusion and commitment is. So I feel like this person is going out on a limb, but I'm trying to figure out why. It's almost like they're wondering if they can commit to this idea regardless of like how the outcome will be you know they have no idea maybe they're trying to figure out the best course of action so let's see what else we can get here what else can you tell me about this person and their thoughts energies towards leo what do we need to know spirit cold shoulders okay that makes sense that's why they're taking a risk. Silence, distance, coldness. Someone is feeling shut out. Time out. Time is of the essence. I feel like there's been a long time since you've talked with this person or there's like a big distance, a big divide between you. Wow, true love. Someone is in love. They feel this is a strong partnership with true love. Despite the distance, despite the silence, because I feel like some of you, you haven't talked to this person in a really long time. What else? What else do we need to know for Leo? What are this person's thoughts, feelings when it comes to Leo? What are their thoughts, feelings? I will never find another love like you. Even though we are apart, our souls are united. Yeah, you are not with this person. And they are, they recognize, I guess I should say, that there is no one else like you. No one compares to you is kind of what I'm getting here. Um, and they still feel a connection even if you are apart as well. Um, even though we are apart, our souls are united. You guys are definitely not together, you and this person. Hmm... Maybe time has passed. Maybe they hope that things could be different. Now that time has passed, perhaps. We'll see. Now, Leo, keep in mind, these readings are general. So they will not resonate with every Leo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and um, leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements. Sometimes those readings can re resonate more your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance. For Leo, can we get some insight please? For Leo regarding the person they are thinking about, connecting with at this time. What do we need to know? So the top three cards are gonna be how they're thinking, feeling about you at this time. And the bottom row will be their true intentions towards you and next actions possibly so for leo for leo what do we need to know about this person all of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box if you want to check out uh, your other placements okay first row knight of cups reverse the tower reverse nine of swords yeah this person's not doing well they're worried, they're anxious. I think they wanna avoid a tower. So maybe they don't want this separation to be permanent. 
Wow, death. Uh, in the bottom row, nine of wands and six of... Oh my gosh, this person has a bad for you. Scorpio energy with the death card. Um, I feel like this person... They're stuck in the past. Um, they cannot let the past go. Um, for whatever reason. It could be that, you know, what you had with them was very special and they haven't been able to find it anywhere else and they don't want to lose it. It's like they don't want to lose you for good. What's at the bottom of the deck? Eight of Cups. Interesting. The Nine of Wands is here. So this person is not giving up, but I don't see action other than the death card and the death card is a card about endings and change maybe this person is going through a big change in their life maybe this person has changed maybe they've changed something in their circumstances or have ended something in there um maybe they've ended a cycle and this was the action that they needed to take maybe they need to walk away from something so let's look a little bit closer here. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? I feel like this person is heartbroken. Yeah, okay. Tell me about the Empress came out. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. If you're dealing with an Aries, you might want to read, not read, check out that reading. <laughs> Tell me about Knight of Cups reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? King of Swords, yeah. This person, I think that they want to apologize, but they haven't been given the chance. That's the energy that I'm picking up very strongly for some of you. This person has not been able to apologize because they're shut out in a way. They could be blocked. They, you might have changed your number or it's just impossible to reach you in some way. I think this person wants to talk to the Empress and they, I don't know, the emotionally they're still stuck on this Empress. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? They're taking a risk because they're scared. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. How about the Nine of Swords? Seven of Swords. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. I think this person must have hurt you or done something to you that they are feeling guilty about. And they're willing to work on this, put in effort with the Eight of Pentacles. But I think this person, you know, you know what they're thinking is if I were to talk to Leo right now, they're not going to believe me. Leo is not going to believe what I have to tell them. They're going to think I'm the Seven of Swords, even if I'm not. Tell me about the Tower Reverse. Tell me about the Tower Reverse. Wow, the lovers. Yeah, they don't want this union to end. I mean, that's it's very clear energy. They're holding on with the Four of Pentacles, Gemini energy with the lovers. Um, they're holding tightly and they don't want to let go. They don't want this tower to be a thing. <laughs> Tell me about death. What's this death card about down here? Why is death here for Leo? The chariot. Yeah, there's some sort of move or change that this person... It's like they've changed direction or they're on a different path now. Cancer energy with the chariot. Tell me about death. Why is death here? They're on the move. Yeah, six of cups. They're on the move. I think this is someone that's coming back to the past or going towards their soulmate um, with the six of cups, which I feel is you. This is how they're viewing you. I think that they dream of a reunion here with the three of cups, but there's the two of swords. This is kind of like the I'm confused energy. Like I feel like someone's a bit stuck on how this would go on what decisions to make, you know, because they're so scared of how you will receive them. And so it's almost like they're thinking, well, what is the best way that I can come forward where Leo will not see me as the seven of swords? I 
I think they, they, they see this as an obstacle in their way, but they're not giving up. Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Judgment. Yeah. They're not giving up. I think that they've realized that you are it for them, that they're they're never going to be able to find someone like you. And it's like almost like they don't want to even be with anybody else. That's why they're ready to commit here. I think that before, maybe in the past or the recent past, they were thinking about making things right. But only now are they actually thinking about making this happen. Yeah, look at this energy. Judgment, devil, the devil, and the world. I mean, it's like they've really been looking at their own behavior or mistakes in the past, at their restrictions, addictions, unhealthy habits, whatever has led them astray in the past with judgment here. It's like they're they're getting clarity about that or they're learning something about that. I think also this is possibly a situation where I don't know, it, it's 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 cyclical. It's almost like they maybe this has happened in other lives. The the fact that you it, it's almost like you always end up with each other in every life, you know? And it's like a a, a cycle, right? And and every cycle where you meet is the chance for this person to do things right. And I feel like in this life they screwed it up. But they want a complete do-over with the world. Wow, and there's the tower. Yeah. Explosive is what I heard. Explosive. I think their behavior brought about a tower. And they want a clean slate. I think also there's almost like a, a need, a desire to have this second chance. They're not giving up. And it's like, you know, like this very strong energy with the devil of like, I cannot let this go. Yeah, Ten of Swords. This person has not been able to get over what happened. They have not been able to overcome what's happened. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. Yep, Four of Wands. We have the lovers, six of cups and four of wands here. Like to me, clear soulmate energy. This person feels you are their soulmate. You might not agree, but that's just how they're feeling. <laughs> um, that's just what I'm seeing here. Tell me more about the six of cups reverse. What else can you tell me about the six of cups reverse? Yeah, the wheel of fortune. And the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. I mean, what else can I really say, Leo? This person... They want to do over, they want to make things right, you know, Th this could be divine counterparts or soulmates coming back together. Um, I feel like I'm talking to a Leo whose person could have redemption. This is not someone that cannot admit they're wrong. This is not someone that continues to make mistakes. This is not someone that is just refusing to see the part that they played in what happened. That's not this person. This person has had an awakening and has undergone some sort of change in their life. That's why it's almost like they cannot let go of you, but it's for a reason. You know, that's kind of what I'm picking up here. I want a kipper. What else do we need to know? I feel like this person just wasn't able to commit to you in the past and they are able to commit to you now or want to commit to you now. But they're just not sure how you will receive them. What do we need to know about this person, this situation? Bad health. Yeah, this person is not doing well without you. They're, 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 I'm telling you, it's almost like they, they're missing something important in their life. And it's almost like they're grieving. Can we get some more insight into their true intentions? What are their true intentions? 
towards Leo. What are their true intentions, Spirit? Towards Leo. This person might reach out and communicate with the Eight of Wands and the King of Swords here. But I have a feeling this person has not been able to apologize. They haven't been able to make things right. And so that just keeps this need, you know, it's like they, they, they feel a need to do this. Yeah, the peacock. So the peacock is about um, knowing your worth, knowing your value, um, having a lot to offer. This is someone that's very secure and confident. I think they see you as a peacock. They see you as an empress. I also feel like this person possibly has done some sort of, um, I don't know, they've realized what truly matters. That it's not just about looks or material things. It's about something much more. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.